Hello, Scorpio. Any placement of Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for March 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. Uh, the link below to my website, I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings. I've been a master healer um, globally for the last four years full time. Uh, so it does not matter where you live. I do readings and healings for um, people all over the world. So the link below uh, to my website has all the information available for you. And I do offer a 15% discount off your very first session with me so you could take advantage of that if you feel called to do so all right Scorpio let's get you an overall energy oh I love this one you've got the koi fish spirit there is always enough okay I love this card because it always reminds me to do a checkup from the neck up which is where are my thoughts am I thinking in more abundance or more from scarcity there is always enough this is going to speak to every area of your life so in regards to money and finances in regards to joy and happiness in regards to um activities and the way that you spend your time that bring you joy and happiness there is always enough so where can you stretch your boundaries a little bit Scorpio and expand into that um, really deep trusting in the universe in the divine in the timing of things and in true abundance all right let me see what else we've got for you All right, all the cards are out. First thing I'm noticing, Scorpio, is there are no major arcana cards. So that means there's not going to be really huge, um, massive life lessons happening for you right now. So um, these are going to be more um, subtle messages and things that you're learning and dealing with. So first up, we've got Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, Page of Cups. I definitely see some new beginnings or new opportunities coming through for you, Scorpio, with the Ace of Swords and also the Page of Cups. So this could be a new uh, lover or romantic interest coming in for you. I'm also seeing like um, inspiration in the mind, like new ideas, new thoughts, new uh, maybe creative hobbies or outlets that you want to explore and play with a little bit. Um, I'm seeing that more with like the Ace of Swords energy here. So your mind is going to be a little bit more stimulated right now in um, like I said, ideas, thoughts, things that you maybe want to communicate and share with others also. Um, but it's really interesting because along with that, we've also got the five of wands, which to me is a little bit of chaotic thinking, uh, like wasted mental energy. So coming back to that there is always enough and doing a checkup from the neck up is making sure if you are having these new thoughts and new ideas come through for you, it's allowing the ones that don't fully resonate to just fall away and bringing a little more focus and energy into the ones that really do inspire you and spark this um, positive energy within you as well. I'm also seeing with the page of cups here that it's important for you to really tap into your more lighthearted, playful, and goofy energy right now. This is going to help take the pressure off of the mind, off of knowing, off of, you know, having that serious clarity, etc. Right now, what's important for you is to come back into your more playful, lighthearted energy. And for those of you that do have somebody coming in for you, it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or possibly another water sign. So maybe another Scorpio or a Pisces um, or a Cancer. With that, um, you're going to have to really tune in and see what it is that you're wanting right now. Are you wanting a partner that more connects in with the mental energy and intellectually and you connect really well on that level? Or are you wanting somebody that really brings out your playful and more fun side? So the universe may actually be bringing more than one person for you so you can kind of get clear of what it is that you want or what is really important for you at this time um, in your journey. All right, next up, we've got King of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Two of Swords. 
So King of Wands energy is very much about taking action, getting things done. And I'm actually seeing your energy on this King of Swords. And I'm noticing that the back is turned towards the Five of Cups here. So I just want to say good job, Scorpio. This is a message saying that you are ready to stop focusing on loss, disappointment, things that maybe didn't happen or didn't happen the way you wanted them to. And if you spent a little bit of time kind of sulking in, um, you know, what's already happened and, and what didn't go your way, I see you like really ready to just say, you know what, I'm done with that. I'm moving forward. I'm focused on what lights me up, what inspires me, what brings me joy, what brings me all the good feels, uh, which is really beautiful because the Five of Cups really is about a change of perspective. So as this King of Wands energy kind of comes up within you, Scorpio, and you wanting to really make changes, it's going to help you to see the connection that is really here, what's around you that is still a blessing, what's around you that is still good. Also coming back to your overall energy, there is always enough. If we're focused here on what is missing or what is lost, uh, we're in the scarcity, we're not in the abundance energy. So I'm just seeing that you're really going to kind of take a step up in regards to that. As you go through that, um, the Two of Swords here is saying that it's not time to make any major decision about anything right now. Uh, you don't have all the information needed to make a true good decision. There's still things that are going to be uncovered for you. Um, so Two of Swords to me is always kind of like just hold off a little bit. There's no rush to make a decision right now. And also the blindfold is still on. And if you notice the arms here are crossed over the heart. So a little bit of disconnect between the head and the heart energy here. So as far as making a decision, you don't need to right now. So for those of you who are dating or who are dealing you know, with someone, whether they're new or you've been dealing with them for a while, you don't need to make a decision about them today. You can take your time, let this other person show you a little bit more of who they are. You stay true to yourself, keep checking in with how you're feeling. Um, and when it's time to make a decision, you will. Oh, and actually that is being shown right here. So we've got two of pentacles, six of swords, eight of wands. So here you are, you're weighing out your options, Scorpio. You don't need to make a decision just yet, um, but you will be weighing out your options and you will be looking at things from all angles, writing your pros and cons list, you know, looking at how do I feel with this outcome or how do I feel with that outcome? And that's really going to give you the opportunity to leave behind what um, just doesn't resonate with you anymore. Six of Swords is leaving behind challenges, rough waters, you know, things, people, beliefs that just aren't in alignment with where we're at anymore. And I'm really being shown that this is going to be a process for you. And that's why you're not being rushed through the process to make a decision. Because as you um, go through your process and get more clear, the last card out here is the Eight of Wands, which is that action, that movement forward, that, okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm clear. It brings messages. It can bring travel. It can bring uh, movement within a relationship to the next level or um, to something a little more serious. So for those of you who are dating or are getting to know somebody, you don't need to rush in your decision for them. That is coming from the mental energy. What's needed is for you to go through your process, take your time, and boom, when you're clear, you are clear, and that's when the action happens. So you just need to go through your process and let things unfold. So um, a lot of fire energy out here, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. I've also got um, air. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and a little bit of Earth. So possibly a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but I'm more so leaning towards the, the fire or the air sign. For you. Um, let me see if there's anything else. So Ace of Swords, yeah, new beginning, something coming in for you that is new. Um, could be love, romance, a new opportunity. But remember to really keep your energy in your light and playful and more goofy energy. That is going to help take the pressure off of needing to make a decision. So that's really important for you, I'm being told here. So 
All right, so let me see if there's any other message for you. But also with this King of Wands energy, I know I was feeling your energy on that card, but that also is showing progression here. Um, if you are um, dealing with a specific person, there is room for growth from the page to the king. So you might see progression there um, within your partnership. Things moving a little more serious. Um, that could be what you're kind of contemplating as well here. But remember, you don't need to rush and make a decision. It'll be clear when it's clear. Okay, let me see what else we've got for you. All right, I love it. You've got intention. Oops, sorry, the glare is a bit strong. Intention. Where is your focus, Scorpio? Kind of similar to the there is always enough, asking you to be really clear of where your thoughts are, where your intentions are. Are they in alignment with truly what it is you want to create in your life? Or is it more focused on what you don't want or what you wish would have happened, etc.? So it's kind of asking you to shift into your creative manifesting energy and let go of what's done is done. I love that message for you. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. And we'll wrap up the reading. All right, one of my favorites. You've got the raven, the shaman. You are the creator and magician. Just what I was saying. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Beautiful. That kind of reminds me of the message that you don't need to make a decision. You need to flow. You need to trust. You need to just let things happen as they do. So really trust that shaman within and Scorpios you guys are so deeply spiritual so I feel this is such a beautiful spirit animal message for you uh, through the end of March I hope these messages have resonated with you if not no worries you can always watch your moon sign your rising any other placement they are general readings so take what resonates and leave what doesn't um, thank you for the likes and the subscribes and if you miss the intro I am a master clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I have been um, doing this full time with clients globally for the last four years. So the link below to my website has all the information for you. It does not matter where you live. I specialize in the distance um, healings and readings. So uh, you can read about the testimonials, the benefits, and also you could take advantage of a 15% discount that I have um, for your very first session. So you'll see that in the link below also if you feel called to do so. I think that's it Scorpio. Otherwise I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to March and I will see you guys back here for the first half of April readings. Take care.